As New Mexico suffers from a drought, farmers are now being forced to get creative in order to get a successful crop. News 13's Madison Connor shows us what one farmer did with the help of some from some competition. We were looking for a way to still arrive at the grocery store with our chili on time. It's a first for chili farmer Glenn Duggins. Those transplants are much bigger. This year, a little less than half of his crop was transplanted due to the lack of water in the state. It's a tool that we um, are using to adapt to our environment. You know, farmers are constantly adapting. Seco Spice Farmer at Ogas in Anthony, New Mexico, made it possible. We were just two farmers just talking, and he walked me through his plant. It's, it's amazing what they do. Once Duggins saw how it worked together, they sent seeds all the way to Arizona to be sprouted and then planted back here. Then this farmer drove up himself. He sent his labor crew up here and to make sure we were doing it right. We planted 300,000 transplants. Even though it spent some time out of state, it's still authentic New Mexico chili. It's still New Mexico seed. It's still New Mexico soil. It's New Mexico water and it's a New Mexican that is doing it. Transplanting is more expensive at first, but ends up saving thousands of dollars in water and labor. We'll pick the transplants first, and then by the time we pick the transplanted chili, the seeded chili should be um, up and going. The decision he thought was a risk could turn into a permanent solution at his farm. It's a new way for this valley. Madison Connor, KRQE News 13. Duggan says that Ogaz and his crew will likely come back when it comes time to harvest the chili later on this summer.